to our next video, again linked to the sociology of poverty and inequality, is deprivation, exclusion and inclusion. Right, we're going to start off with Peter Townsend. Social scientist, here he is, came up with the deprivation index, a list of things that changes over time, a list of things that if you don't have, you are you feel deprived. It's called the deprivation index. It's a list of things that is normal to have. So today, 20 years ago, it wouldn't have been like this. Today, it is normal to have a mobile phone. You would feel deprived if you didn't have one. Furthermore, if you want to bring this band up to date, if you, ha if you didn't have a smartphone, you would feel deprived. Yeah? He works out as less than 50% of the average income leads to deprivation. It's things like that you have to share bed. If you're a child, have you got to share a bedroom with siblings? Does your family have access to a car? Yeah? And here's London according to the deprivation index. So we are here in New Addington, down here, and you can see deprivation is very high in New Addington, not so much in the rest of Croydon. Okay, so that's the deprivation index. Other sociologists will talk about material versus cultural deprivation. It's not just about money. It's about the way you've been brought up. Again, it's a bit of similar to Bourdieu's cultural capital idea, where these kids here have cultural capital, and this kid here might have cultural deprivation, deprived of culture. And this leads to massive amounts of self-confidence for these kids and zero confidence for these kids. This kid would feel intimidated having to go and talk to posh people about things he didn't really understand. And you get what's called the cycle of deprivation. The parents are poor. They feel hopeless and helpless. They are malnourished, the poor house, often ill. Therefore, their kids are the same. Therefore, their kids are badly at school. Therefore, their kids stay poor. And the cycle carries on. And if you are a functionalist, the new right, particularly if you are someone like Charles Murray, this is all the fault of the poor. They're doing a bad job raising their kids. It's their fault, therefore. They're socialising them badly. Yeah. They're the underclass. And you've got social exclusion. If you are poor, you suffer from social exclusion. You can't go to the cinema very often. So you don't, haven't seen the same movies as your mates. You don't get to go on the same holiday, so you feel poor. You don't have a similar routine going down for dinner with your family. Yeah. It also could be linked to ethnicity as well, social exclusion. If you have a different language to people, you may suffer from social exclusion. And the opposite of that is social inclusion. The idea is you should organise society in such a way as everybody can be included. So you build a ramp to make sure the disabled people can get up the ramp and take and buy food from the shop. Now, functionists, by the way, are all for this. They think society should be run in this way. 